Hi everyone, welcome to the final part of our Japan travel series. In this vlog, I'll be walking you through our two-day adventure in Hiroshima and Miyajima Island, highlighting the activities we enjoyed, the delicious cuisine we tried, along with some travel tips. Following this, we'll head back to Tokyo to continue our exploration. We're starting off our journey here in Hiroshima in Western Japan. Hiroshima has historic significance as the site of the world's first atomic bomb detonation, but it has also emerged as a beacon of peace and resilience. Today, Hiroshima is a thriving city renowned for its culinary scene and home to the majestic Itsukushima Shrine, celebrated as one of Japan's three famous scenic views. Despite its distance from bustling tourist centers like Tokyo and Kyoto, Hiroshima was an absolute gem to visit. We found this destination to be incredibly rewarding and strongly recommend you adding it to your travel list. We boarded the JR West ferry bound for Miyajima. Though there are a number of ways to get to Miyajima, we decided to go with this option since we were covered under the Japan Rail Pass. Miyajima is home to the Itsukushima Shrine, a renowned Shinto shrine distinguished by its iconic floating tori gate. Built over water, both the shrine and tori gate create a breathtakingly scenic view against the backdrop of the sea. You could actually walk right up to the tori gate during low tides, and at high tides, the shrine seems to float right above the water. You can check the tide timings for when to visit and I really recommend coming during sunset as the shrine looks even more stunning during the golden hour.
Today, we will visit the Hiroshima Peace Memorial Museum, a significant landmark that commemorates a pivotal moment in both Japanese and world history. It stands as a must-visit for anyone coming to Hiroshima, highlighting the impacts of nuclear warfare and the importance of maintaining world peace. One of our favorite meals in Hiroshima was trying out Hiroshima-style okonomiyaki. It is a local take on the popular Japanese dish that features layered ingredients, unlike the mixed version found in Osaka. It was hard to get a spot and most of the places were full. A friendly store owner recommended us to try this place across the street from his store. The okonomiyaki was incredibly delicious and we also tried the fried oysters, which were among the best we've ever tasted. They were really fresh and savoury, with a hint of sweetness in the aftertaste. After two days in Hiroshima, it was time to head back to Tokyo. Sushi Zangai, a sushi chain known for serving fresh sushi at affordable prices. I think the sushi here was great value for money, and they also had quite a few non-raw fish items on the menu for my parents who preferred cooked dishes. We visited their main branch, which was apparently open 24 hours. So if you happen to want to satisfy a sushi craving at 3 in the morning, this is the place to go.
we ended off the day with a beautiful sunset view from Shibuya Sky, a 360-degree observation deck with panoramic views of the Tokyo skyline. We were super fortunate that it was a clear day and we were able to see Mount Fuji in the distance. Most of the time slots just before sunset are really popular and sell out quite early. So make sure to book well in advance if you're planning a visit. Having heard some great reviews, I wanted to try out this cafe. Bleach Coffee is a specialty coffee roaster and cafe serving hand drip and espresso drinks. They have a wide selection of single origin coffee with diverse flavours. Though I did not know very much about coffee, the baristas were able to find a particular blend tailored to my taste preference and even took the time to explain other flavours as well. Although on the pricier side, the quality of the coffee and the overall experience were well worth it. Thank you so much for joining us on this three-part series through Japan. If you enjoyed this video and series, don't forget to subscribe, like and hit the notification bell so you won't miss our future travels. See you in our next adventure.